He's up now in Williamsport, PA, calling, calling balls and strikes at the Little League World Series. He joins us now to share more about the experience. He joins us via the phone lines. Dave, good morning to you, sir. Good morning from Williamsport. Good morning. How many games have you officiated so far in this get-together? Uh, I've already done five games, and uh, four of those were base assignments. I had the plate yesterday on, uh, on ESPN. So being the plate umpire on a national television, television game, does it get any bigger than that? It does not. I've done some big games, but uh, there were 26,000 in the stands and uh, recorded about 9.5 million watching. So that was uh, that's a little added pressure, to say the least. Just between you and me, do you go back and watch to see how your strike zone was? Absolutely. Strike <laughs> zone, foul tips, uh, head height, mechanics. I obsess over that stuff because I'm always wanting to get better. But just before we get to the honor of it all, did you see the, the kid that gets down in the crouching stance and makes his strike zone the big, as big as a Dixie cup? How, how, how does a plate umpire handle that? Well, and I'm 6'5", so uh, these guys are a little bit smaller, and I, I definitely have to work legs uh, in the gym just to make sure I can get all the way down there. But uh, I do the best that I can, and uh, when, when they crouch down, it does make it a little bit more difficult. But we grab what we can grab. <laughs> well, all right, well, let, enough of that. Let's just talk about the sheer honor of being, of all the Little League umpires that are around the Fruited Plain, to be one of the ones that are selected to, in this marquee event, do you, give your, do you allow yourself time to pat yourself on the back? You know, I do, but it's uh, it's been a, a long journey. You know, I got the letter in January that I was selected to work the, the League World, uh, World Series, and uh, it hit me there, but it's hit me a little bit more each month. And then, of course, when I got here, um, I, I feel like I've had a lump in my throat for a week just because of the honor. And, and not only that, all the people that I bring with me. You know, I've, all the guys I've worked with and, and gals umpiring over the last – 18 years and, and just my community of Poway and all of San Diego County. Um, there's the hundreds of text messages and, and emails that I've gotten after every game in support of me. All of those people in my community are with me while I'm here. What does it take to be a good umpire? A good, just a good official in general? Uh, discipline. And, and, and I think care. You have to actually care what you're doing. And I obviously don't do it for the money. I'm a volunteer. I've done 1,100 games for Little League uh, as a volunteer. I do it because it's my, my safe place. It's my get, away, get out of the house, and, um, and, and I'm just addicted to my craft. It's just like somebody who golfs or fishes. Um, right. you know, some do it for the money, and, and that's not me. I do it because I, I enjoy it, and I just love the, the umpires that I work with, the camaraderie. I know competitive juices flow uh, whenever you get a, a competition, but the tender moments when a kid – when it doesn't go right for a kid between often an umpire and a youngster or a coach and a youngster that are caught on camera. To me, those are the moments that make the Little League World Series special. It almost brings a tear to your eye. As then you realize, hey, these are just, you, love, you know, these are young, these are boys. And they're right. learning how to become men. And those moments, I think, are incredibly tender. And I, that's why I like to watch, Dave. And if you're part of that, God bless. Kudos yeah, to I, I couldn't agree more. At the end of the day, you know, we talked about the people watching and the, and, and, and the, the people in the stands and at home. But at the end of the day, they're 12 year olds and their smiles are just infectious. And I'll tell you, one of the best moments of being here at the World Series is, is some of the moments off the field. And when somebody comes up to you, uh, a group of kids and says, hey, are you Dave Miller, the umpire? And I say, yes. And they say, oh, my gosh, can we get your pen, please? We all want your pen. So when I give them that pen and they look up at me with that smile, it is absolutely priceless. Well, one, your message to moms and dads, I know it's very cordial there because everyone's happy to be there. and it, yes. it's, You've won just by getting there. But along the way, you encounter the abuse of mom and dad occasionally. And what's your message to them, the people that are kind of living vicariously through their kids? Uh, at the end of the day, it's about your kids. It's not about you. And the parents that get caught up in, in trying to get them to the right pitching coach and the right hitting coach, and their kid is better than the other kid. At the end of the day, just let your kid have fun and let them decide what they want to do. Uh, so many parents will push their kids to do something, and they find out 15, 20 years later they never wanted to do it. And maybe they missed out on something else. So just let them be kids and, uh, and support them in whatever they want to do. Dave, I can't think of a better line to leave us on. Uh, we, we wish you the best of luck the rest of the way, and I look forward to watching you on TV. All right, thanks so much. Hope to see you guys next Saturday and Sunday on those championship games. All right, Dave Miller, over 1,000 games under his belt, working the big network games this weekend.